Georgia Bay Live, and I'm here today with Joanne Charlebois, an employment specialist with the YMCA Employment Services in Midland, Ontario. Hi, Joanne. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you today? Good. Good. Um, you know, Georgia Bay Live, we feature some, some awesome businesses, some local entrepreneurs who have been doing it for a while or just getting started, and everybody that's got... Um, you know something to promote and there's a lot of creation going on in the area right now so what we like to do here is focus on what's going on in the community um, I'm William Wiles a proud community member I've been here for seven years and with Royal Page I'll be celebrating my fifth year anniversary in April Congratulations. thank you and uh, we're here to talk about today with Joanne jobs in the community and uh, our economic health is actually directly related to the jobs and not just the jobs, but the types of jobs, the income levels of those jobs. And so our, our economic health is, is directly tied to jobs. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you're looking to invest in real estate, quick pro tip, follow the jobs. That's the truth. You see more jobs being created, jobs, jobs, jobs. The first three, re first three rules of investing in real estate is look for the jobs. So, um, more jobs means a thriving community. So, just to start, Joanne, what kind of services do you offer at the YMCA Employment Center? So, we have different services based on your needs. So, if you're a client who is actively looking for work, um, we have job coaches that can work directly with you. Okay. And they are able to help you with resume, cover letter, okay. elevator speech. Um, a lot of times they have different contacts within the community that um, have the hidden job market and jobs that are not necessarily posted. They also have developed relationships with the employers. So sometimes if you have the same qualifications that someone else has, having that connection with the Y um, gives you that step up from the other person who's applying and you might get the interview before them. Interesting. Um, tips on how to go to the interview, different things along those lines. Okay. So that's for the clients. That's really um, great. For employers, we actually have um, programs for hiring incentives, so we help with training costs. So what we can do is if you're not sure if someone's a good fit for the job or if they have no experience in that field, we can help with the incentives um, to cover some of your training costs so that if you are taking a chance on someone based on them not having the knowledge, then we can help with that. And they might be a good fit and then grow into the job. Absolutely. Might not have got that job without your, yeah. your uh, what would you call it, like subsidy? Or so whatever? it's a training incentive. Training incentive, okay. Yes. So, so what it is, is it's an incentive for the employer to help with their training costs. Okay. So we have that. Um, we also work with the Canadian Ontario Job Grant. Okay. So that is for employers to apply for the subsidy to help train their existing or new staff. Okay. Um, they have to make a contribution as well, but we offset the costs to allow them to increase the knowledge and skill level of their employees. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah, so that's another one. Working um, people grow. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. And a lot of times it's skills that they can take to a new job. So a lot of times it's transferable between the industry. Okay. So it's helpful for the um, employee as well. As well. And it, yeah. it helps the employer to have better qualified people. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, really neat. And then um, one of our big programs in the center is our Youth Job Connection. So that is for youth that are no longer in school, um, 15 to 29, and they work directly with the youth job coaches um, in order to get them job ready and to make them available for the community. Awesome. So that you said 15 is, to 29? Correct. That. So that's yeah. the youth job. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So that's just the basics of our programs that we offer here. That's quite a few things still, just yeah. like the basics, and it, and it delves even further i'm yeah. sure once you get into it absolutely okay awesome well that's great what uh what types of jobs do you really see mostly in in, in this community and what types of jobs are you helping to fill and and that type of thing so there's definitely a lot of seasonal work in the area which yeah. goes with the um, industry and tourism and all of that but our main jobs tend to be in manufacturing and okay. in the service industry so okay. there's a lot of need for skilled labor there's a lot of need for trades and apprenticeships and then we have a lot of need for um, wait staff, um, kitchen staff, that kind of thing. So that's huge. That's yeah. what most of our job postings are for. Okay. And then there's a great need in the medical community for PSWs and caregivers. Okay, so if you're, if you're watching this, go and get your PSW. There's gonna be a great need for that, right? Yes, absolutely. There already is, and it's growing. The population is aging, and these are, these are very important. Uh, positions going to be needed. To yeah, be and apprenticeships are huge right now. Okay. 
Okay. The skilled trades are um, dwindling. There's more retirees than there are people in school. So a skilled trade is definitely where to be right okay, now. Okay, so skilled trades too. Okay, yeah. that's good. And there's lots, there's always a need for that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And with more people retiring, yes. you can see a shortage. Yeah, there's okay. definitely a shortage coming. Yeah. yeah, okay, good. So if you're watching, skilled trades, if you don't want to be a PSW, we get it. Not everybody's meant for that. No, it's not. Right? right. Uh, okay. So what what's the what's the future of the jobs in the area? Those that we just talked about. Are, do you see that being the biggest need? Absolutely. I know um, there's a lot of manufacturers that are looking to expand. There's some in current expansion mode right now. There are a lot of incentives throughout the manufacturing industry okay. where the actual employer themselves are offering incentives to join them and especially as a skilled laborer. That would make sense, yeah. yeah. Because when you need it, you need it, right? Yeah, absolutely. You get somebody in there that wants it and is willing to work for it. Yeah, okay. So no, not a lot of shifts then lately. It's been mostly what we're talking about yeah. right now and, and, and that's the type of employment that we're really looking for. So yeah. you, we're just gonna drop this now. We do have the, you have the, uh, job fair yes uh, coming up but um, what I, I guess the next question we'll, we'll go back to that but the next question would be like who are who are coming in for your services what what are the, what's the what do you see mostly and, and what are they looking for like you know do you get people from out of town or do you get people moving or do you get people that are already here locally having a hard time finding jobs and then what are they looking for from our community so it's really a mix of all of that. So anybody who's new to the community, a lot of our community partners are referring them in. They're saying, hey, have you heard of the why and what they can do for you to find a job? Um, a lot of times when people are laid off or they're seasonal workers, then they come here trying to subsidize those times where they are no longer employed. Um, and a lot of new job seekers, so fresh out of school, people who've not got a lot of experience, but they're looking for tips on how to improve their resume because they don't have that um, history to put on there and then we kind of show them how the things they've done throughout their life actually can be applied to their resume. Everybody's got some experience somewhere, right? Yeah, exactly. Right? It doesn't have yeah. to be employment. That's it. You've done yeah. something that could transition into, hey, I know how to do that and there's a, a bit of a niche market or a job there for you or something. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, really cool. Um, what do you think? Oh, um, so are you from this area? Where, like, how long have you been in Midland? Um, so I've been here forever. Okay. <laughs> so I've kind of lived in all of the area. So, but I, my main residence is in Port McNichol and okay. has been for my entire life, basically. Okay. Yeah, so you, so. Okay. Excellent. So born and raised in the area. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Cause the next track, the next question was, if not, what brought you here? But I mean, you were here. It's the community that keeps me here. So. That's right. You yeah. haven't left. So there's, that's a good, strong thing too, uh, yeah. to know that, yeah, the community is around you and. What we've noticed since moving here too is it's been really uh, friendly and people focused. Yeah, absolutely. When you walk down the street and all the neighbors are saying hi to you. It's not like living in a city where you walk your dog by the same person every day and neither one of you look at each other yeah. and you know, smile. It's Very a totally, community minded area. Yeah, excellent. And so that's what made you stay in the area and then absolutely. how, how yeah. community focused this is. What do you love about the area? Um, the water, the nature, um, the community. Everybody's there to help, and you can develop some really good relationships, and it's what keeps me here. Absolutely, you must have good friends, friend circles, oh, and, yeah, and all that. And yeah. yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. Well, I mean, thank you for sharing. Now, tell me a little bit more about the job fair. That is, I was going to say it. It's March fifth, so next week, Thursday. Next Thursday. Yes. Next Thursday, and it runs from twelve p.m. to four p.m. and it's at the Midland Culture Center, which is actually just right across the street from where we are now. Yeah. So tell me a little more. So what we have going on is um, we have the job fair. We host it every year in the spring okay. and we have approximately 30 to 35 employers that attend every year and they're hiring full time, part time. Um, some of them are looking for apprentice opportunities. We also have seasonal employment for some of the retirees and things that are just looking to get out and do something a little bit different. Um, the employees are all there, ready to do on-the-spot interviews. Oh, awesome. So make sure you bring your resume, cover letter, dress to impress, um, show up like you're going to an interview, no coffee in hand, um, turn the cell phone off, be ready to answer those questions. And if you're not ready, you can book an appointment with us beforehand. One of our job coaches could work with anybody to help great. them with their resume, cover letter, elevator pitch, um, what to wear, what questions they could expect at a job fair, that kind of thing. And we do have um, a very 
wide variety of employers coming. So it makes it good for almost anybody who's looking for information. So if you're looking for any kind of job, anything, you can probably yeah. find the employer Absolutely. on the 5th. Yeah, we have okay. um, hospital, we have all the manufacturers, we have hospitality, we have some of the resorts, a little bit okay. of everything coming. So. so Okay, so if you're looking for a job and you're in Midland and surrounding areas, this is the place to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? And so you only got four hours to be there. So, you know, what's the, what's the old thing? The early bird gets the worm. Show up on time, right? Yeah, absolutely. Second most gets the cheese, though. It's true. Right? So, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for uh, having us in today. Yeah, thank and you for coming in. Absolutely. We're going to get this up and out, and uh, we're going to let everybody know what's going on. And uh, so, yeah, the job fair is March 5th, 12 to 4. If you're looking for a job, you can always come down and, At any time, and, yeah. see, and see Joanne here. Uh, she'll be glad to help you out all the things that you've mentioned which are all fantastic things that are needed especially if you're not writing resumes every day and you've had a job for the last 10 years and maybe something's happened or maybe they close or something like that you need some help getting back in the job job market come on down to the ymca employment services and uh, thank you very much okay. for your time thank you